I am becoming a huge fan of Codium. And if you don't know what that is, think of it as an like an AI personal assistant in VS Code. It basically allows you to work faster. It has features like autocomplete. It has like a chat next to it. So you can kind of ask questions about your code and it'll instantly give you answers. Basically, it's like chat GPT in VS Code, but it's very convenient. It's right there. You don't have to leave VS Code to go to chat GPT. It's always right there and it's very handy. It's totally free. I think you should definitely give it a try. In fact, let me show you what it does. I'm going to go to VS Code here. And at the moment, I'm coding the Smart Animator 3.3, and maybe I just open it up and I have this function called Smart Animator Mobler, and maybe I don't know what that is. So conveniently, Codium puts up this message at the top and I can say, hey, explain this function to me. And when you click on it, it'll bring up this chat system here and it'll basically explain what this function does in here. And the cool thing about this, you can keep asking away, you can ask more questions. So that's really cool. So that's one thing, but also you can select any code you want. And if you press control I, it'll bring up this uh, like a prompt messenger thing. And in here, you can ask questions or you can tell it to do something. For example, I want for it to clean up this selected code. So I'm gonna say the following, I'm gonna say clean up this code and then press control enter, boom. And just like that, you wait a second or two, it'll start like changing the code. And as you can see, things that are highlighted in green are the stuff that basically you'll keep and the red will go away. And once it's done, you'll see two options at the top. So we have accept or reject. So I'm gonna say accept, just like that, it will fix everything. Now you do wanna make sure you double check stuff. Sometimes it's not always correct, but for the most part, it's pretty good. What else can we do? So maybe I wanna go inside of this function and maybe I want to add like a comment that tells me about this function. So I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna put the blinker right there and I'm gonna press control I to bring up the uh, prompt editor thing. And in here, I'm gonna ask the following. I'm gonna say, describe this function in a single line comment. I'm gonna press control enter. And then if you wait for it, let's see if it does it. So right away, it describes this function, which is really, really cool. So I'm gonna say accept. So what else can we do? So at the top here, I'm gonna do the following. So maybe I wanna create a new variable. So I'm gonna say variable, and let's see what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say current comp name. And then let's see what it does. As you can see, it will autocomplete like the whole path to the current comp name. Really, really cool. It kind of studies your entire code. Now let's try this. I'm gonna do the same thing, current comp name, but this time I'm gonna go underneath here because we have already described the path of the comp. So I'm gonna say maybe something like this. So let's do variable current comp name. And let's see, <laughs> it's smart enough to adjust. It's not just gonna give me the long path. It will use the variable above, which is really, really awesome. So this thing will definitely save you time. Now let's try other things. Maybe I want to do the following. So maybe I wanna do like a variable and uh, let's do like a list of team names. Let's see what it comes up with. So it gives me like a, an array. Maybe if I do like list of 10 team names. So it gives me a bigger one. Overall, this thing is amazing. The fact that you can quickly highlight things and it, it can definitely speed up the workflow. And so far, I just, I love this tool. So if you haven't tried it, I definitely think you should. Uh, it's totally free and I think it will save you a lot of time.